Hello everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mineup support team. In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to install Redmine plugins on Linux. Uh, Alright, uh, in this particular case, we are going to install Agile plugin of Red Mineup. However, the steps for installation are the same for all plugins. Also, I would like to make a note that uh, some of the plugins have light free versions and some of them has uh, pro versions. So if you have a pro version then you have to go into your license manager to download the very latest version of the plugin. In our case it is Redmine Agile 164 pro version. If you would like to download the light version then you have to go to our site which is redmine.com and here into the plugin section you have to search for the one you would like to download. In our case it is the Agile plugin. So we click on download here and then here. In this field you have to set your email address and the light version of the plugin is going to be sent automatically and immediately to your email. So let's continue further. Um, once we have the zip file, either pro or light version, the first thing that you have to do is to just extract the zip file. And then you have to go into the inner folder. And then copy this one, which is redmine slash agile. Then you have to go to the core redmine folder, which in our situation is redmine500. Okay, so here you have to find the plugins folder and then paste um, the plugin there. Now the next thing is that we have to open the command line. And again you have to navigate to your Redmine core folder, which in our case, let's say again, is 5.0. So the very first command that you have to execute is bundle install. This command installs the required gems for the plugin you are trying to install. So the next thing is that you have to do the migration. It is via this command. The important thing here is that you have to set into the name place the name of the plugin you are trying to install. In our case it is the Agile plugin, so it is redmine slash Agile. Um, please, um, just for information, these uh, messages here are warnings for developers. They are not going to harm the work or make some errors, just a warning for developers. Alright, so we see that the migration is successful and the very latest thing that you have to do is to just restore our redmine which with touch temporary restart point txt. Okay, so let's go back to our Redmine and just refresh the page. It will take a couple of seconds because restarting Redmine takes some time. So we see that we are done and the Redmine Agile plugin is now appearing here. So we have done successfully the job. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you into the next one. Bye bye for now.